Welcome to this demo on deploying Tanzu Kubernetes grid clusters through Tanzu Mission Control. During this short demonstration, I'll show you how you can use Tanzu Mission Control and a registered Tanzu Kubernetes grid management cluster to deploy workload clusters. Managing clusters through Tanzu Mission Control enables operators to have a graphical user interface for deploying Kubernetes clusters. This is of course just one of TMC's capabilities. Platform teams leveraging Tanzu Mission Control can manage many Kubernetes clusters across environments. Developers can leverage Tanzu Mission Control to view their deployments across these environments instead of the myopic cluster view that the kubectl provides. To begin the demo, let's take a peek at what's in our vCenter already. We've got a Tanzu Kubernetes grid management cluster already deployed. When we deployed this cluster, we also registered it with Tanzu Mission Control. If we look in the TMC console and navigate to the administration section, we can see that our management cluster has been registered already, and if we dive a little deeper, there are no current workload clusters registered yet. Let's change that. We'll go to the Clusters tab and click the Create Cluster button. From there, we'll need to select the management cluster we'll be using to deploy our workload cluster. Now we fill out some information about our new cluster. Start by selecting a provisioner. This equates to the namespace on the management cluster where you want to store the cluster configuration. Since we didn't create any new namespaces, we'll select the default, but you could organize your clusters into namespaces if you'd like. Next, give the cluster a name and select which TMC cluster group you'd place the new cluster into. Finish up by adding a description and some labels to meet your needs. Now we need to provide some deployment information such as the data center to deploy the new workload cluster into. After this, we select the version of Kubernetes that should be deployed. Remember that just like with deploying these clusters through the Tanzu CLI or UI, the OS image must already be deployed into your cloud so that it can be used. Since this is vSphere, we deployed the Kubernetes image that came from the VMware Downloads page and converted it to a template. Okay. Now add your public SSH key so that we can access the nodes later on if we need to for troubleshooting purposes. Then you'll need to provide the network or port group that the new nodes will be attached to and the Kubernetes CIDR addressing for pods and services. In the Specify Resources screen, you'll select a cluster or resource pool to deploy nodes into, which virtual machine folder to store the VMs, and also the data store the disks will belong in. On the control plane screen, we select whether we're using a highly available control plane or a single node. I'm selecting a single node for this deployment, and then I'm changing the size of the control plane instance to a large VM. I'm aware of the possibility of downtime using a single node cluster, but in this case, I'm trying to conserve resources. Next, enter an endpoint IP address which is used for accessing the cluster. The last data entry screen is for the node pools. Here, we can edit the default node pool, which defines how the worker nodes are deployed. I'll simply change the number of worker nodes and the instance type, but you could build multiple pools of worker nodes. For example, you could have some nodes using different sizes, maybe due to the way you're deploying workloads on those nodes. In any case, only a single pool here. Then we can click Create Cluster, and we can watch the results. You can see that TMC gives us a status message letting us know that our workload cluster is being created. I've sped up the video here so we aren't staring at the same screen for several minutes, but after a bit, we'll notice that the cluster has some details showing up in TMC, but the agents aren't finished running yet. If we pull up our Tanzu CLI and run a Tanzu cluster list, we can see that our single control plane node and three worker nodes are deployed. We can also see in vCenter that our VMs are up and running. While the TMC agents and extensions are running the routines, we can poke around and see additional details about the nodes, the pools, any namespaces on our new cluster, the workloads, and any inspections that might be run. In fact, at this point, we can request a conformance test to make sure our Kubernetes cluster has all the appropriate capabilities. Once the health extensions are done running, we'll see that the cluster is listed in a healthy state and that it's been placed into our cluster group. This means that any access, security, or custom policies that you've created through Tanzu Mission Control 
and attached to this group are now applied to your cluster and it is ready for use according to your specifications. I hope this demo of Tanzu Mission Control has been informative and you've come up with some ideas on how you'd like to manage your Kubernetes clusters across corporate environments. Be sure to check out VMware Cloud Tech Zone for the latest VMware Cloud on AWS resources.